Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Katie. Today we're at Turnstone World Headquarters. We're going to show you how to put together Bivy. We're going to put together two products today, the Bivy Table and the Bivy Table for Two. We'll start with the legs. Thank you. You're welcome. Now this leg is really great because it has multiple functions. The center is where the electrical trough is going to connect, and then these slats are going to be used later for adding our accessories. So a couple simple things here. One, a tool comes in the box. Um, we simply unpack things just to give you a good view of the product. Um, by the way, the boxes are all on their way to recycling right now. So simple tool, just a little hex key. We'll be using this to tighten a couple things down and that's it. Everything else is kind of snap in place. So the first thing we're going to do is grab the trough back here. And because this is a table for one, we'll orient the trough to the back of the leg. And notice that there's just a little lip that slips into the okay. slot in place. We lean it back on the table, to, or on the floor rather, to put a little pressure on it. And then we just tighten down the hex key. And I can see that there's a little bracket that's kind of raising up as he tightens to help lock it all into place. It locks in really nicely. As we uh, start to tighten down here, we just put a little pressure on the top. We know we're done. Yeah, looks good. When the top of the trough is aligned with the top of the leg. And that side's, yeah, it's flush and level, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So if I can hand you that tool a minute, Katie. Simply uh, now put a little lift on that side. Drop the lip into place on this end. We kind of want to be lined up in the back with the back of the leg, kind of continuing the uh, slope of the line. And then tighten this one down as well. Yeah, that bracket can move around a little bit, so I just wanted to Perfect. put it in the right spot. And we start to feel this one seating in as it tightens up. And it's very close to level or flush. Perfect. It's right where we need it to be. Right. And that step's done. All right, let me check the instructions to see what we do next. Great. OK, now we attach the work surface brackets. That's these two little things right here. Okay. Notice that they're labeled uh, left and right. So I'm handing Katie the left. Thank you. I'll take the right. And left and right simply means that as you're facing the table, it's on your right-hand side. Just go ahead and flip that in. Notice that these just roll into the slot. It's real simple. It's a pressure fit. It's done that quickly. Nice. So again, all the way to the back of the slot, rolled in, and it's ready to go. OK, next thing we're going to do is put on the tabletop. Tabletop ships with a couple knobs screwed into the underside. We're going to set up here first and take out these knobs. We'll need these in a moment, so the best place to store them is just right here in the rail. We'll keep them there for a second. Now we're going to turn the cutout side of the tabletop facing the back of the table. So turning the top now. There you go, Katie. And the back edge of the top just goes right into this little rail. And then we want to make sure that we're aligned on the underside with a couple grooves in the slots. That one's in? Yeah, mine's flush too. Perfect. Now take the knob and reaching under here. Oh, see I that see. One right there? Yeah. I'm just going to screw those back into place. Okay, we're almost done. One simple step. Got a couple little cover plates here just to finish things off. They hide the tops of the uh, hex head screws. The cool thing about these is they're universal, so they work either way. Thank you. Just drop it into place. This one's ready to work. 